Am I the asshole? For fighting with my parents about having my own bedroom? Me, my twin sister Kate and our parents' 40s live in a four-bedroom house. My parents have the master, the second room is a guest room, dad uses the third room as an office and my sister and I share the other room. The three regular bedrooms are small. Dad works from home two days a week and we have guests maybe 10 days a year. I'm very outgoing, I like having people over, and Kate's an introvert who wants to watch her old TV shows and talk to her friends on Discord. She likes order and I like putting my clothes on the chair without being yelled at. We've been asking to have our own room since we were nine, and my parents are refusing to move us because we don't have enough space for everybody's needs. Quarantine was awful. Kate and I fought all the time and our parents yelled at her when she moved her stuff to the guest room because mom has her craft stuff in the closet and what if grandma had to stay with us for a while? I love my sister but this is making me like her less and sometimes I think she barely tolerates me because we're always in each other's space. We barely fit in here anymore, the closet is too small for our clothes, Kate's books are in stacks on the floor, I can't listen to music in peace, and my friends ask why are we sleeping in bunk beds in a four bedroom house? So. Are we the assholes? Today my aunt and grandma visited and called us ungrateful for everything we have and were disappointed in us. I don't believe I'm an ass because I just asking to use the space we already have but at the end of the day it's my parents house, not mine. Kate and I wouldn't be angry if we lived in a two bedroom house but four bedrooms? One room just sitting there, being a waste of taxes? And we have to share? Sorry for any mistakes, I'm not a native speaker but I spend too much time online. I showed Kate and she said paragraphs. Not the asshole. She said googling nursing homes with bunk beds. Thank you for making me laugh as well. Not the asshole. But I laughed to tears about nursing homes with bunk beds. If my kid said that to me, I'd have a really hard time taking myself so seriously that I wouldn't fall over laughing. I do think a dedicated guest room and a dedicated office is a ridiculous waste when the family harmony would be drastically improved by separating children. My office is moving to the dining room because I can no longer use my daughter's closet as an office. She needs privacy and personal space. I'm gonna go with not the asshole. Your parents are putting the possibilities of needing a whole room for a guest once or twice a year over the very real needs of their daughters who live there 365 days a year. Also your sister saying she's googling nursing homes with bunk beds is hilarious. Not the asshole. It's weird to me the house has so much space but they'd rather prioritize possible occasional guests over giving their children their own rooms. Not the asshole you're both at an age where you need your own space. Your sister is on fire there googling nursing homes with bunk beds oh my god, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Your parents don't see this as their problem. So if I were you I'd make it their problem. Work together on a schedule strategy to spread your personal activities and stuff on the kitchen dining room table, living room, family room, wherever, and as obnoxiously loud crowded in the way as possible. When asked, just say you're trying really hard to give each other some personal space, and that you're simply utilizing rooms shared by the whole family. Snicker. What if you one of you takes the guest room but promise that when a guest comes over, you will go bunk with the other one? Here is a situation for you. You are 23 and have a full-time job out of state. You wait for them to come visit you for a week in your two-bedroom apartment and you tell them they need to rent a hotel room. They say, why can't we stay in the guest bedroom? You say, it's my office not a guest bedroom please don't act entitled and get a hotel room. Not the asshole. I mean, what's wrong with just bunking together only when guests are there? Not the asshole. You have the space. Sounds like your parents only wanted one child SND getting twins was an inconvenience to their room plan so they just did it anyway. While you have guests, you can share the room for the few days a year and then both have your own room again. Not the asshole. Googling nursing homes with bunk beds oh god. I genuinely laughed out loud. Absolute burn. Put the craft stuff in the office. Be prepared for one of you to take turns on a camp bed or air mattress when you have guests. Show your parents this post and its replies. Hopefully problem solved. Dear parental units, please remember your children will get to choose your nursing home. With bunk beds. Not the asshole. Start utilizing the guest room and when your parents ask why you're doing it, just tell them it's because you're treated as a guest in the house anyways. My parents were the same weird way. I spent my childhood sharing a room with my sister. They decided to move and have a home built when I was in college. We begged for separate rooms. No deal. 
At least the room was big so we set up our own spaces. When I came home for the holidays from college, the furniture was rearranged so the beds were right next to each other. Okay fine. After that I only went home when the dorms were shut down. After I graduated I rented an apartment and rarely visited. They let me know it was important. Dad asked what does she think she's doing and she said googling nursing homes with bunk beds, which helped not at all. Not the asshole, your sister is great lol. At least the two of you are both exasperated about this even if you don't love sharing a room. Not the asshole. Sure it's your parents house. But are they willing to live with you growing up to resent them because they won't bend on this? One of you can always give up your room when you have guests. And as for crafting items in the closet, does your house have no attic or other storage area like a garage where plastic tuppers could go to hold the crafting supplies? Sounds like your mom is using the guest room as her own study and doesn't want to give that up. At the cost of your relationship with your sister. She said googling nursing homes with bunk beds x200b. Please tell Kate that this is 100 the perfect repost. Not the asshole. You're both becoming older teens, it's stupid for you to be sharing a room at your ages, especially if you have an entire extra bedroom that's only used a week or two out of the year. You're both growing into alts and need private space to be yourselves and relax. Your portents should do what many other parents do, and give you that extra room and then either use the office, or make one of you girls sleep on the couch or on an air mattress in the other's bedroom on the rare occasion when guests are staying over. Not the asshole. It's strange that your parents are so committed to having a guest room when they rarely have guests. It would seem to make sense to at least combine the guest room and the home office. It's a shame your parents think hypothetical, infrequent guests are more important than their own children. The problem with parents of twins is that they can view the twins as one person, like buy one get one free, and they should both want the same thing. Not the asshole dad should combine the office and guest room. Get a Murphy bed or pull out couch for occasional guests. No brainer. Do you have a basement? Is that another option? Your parents are being bougie as wanting a guest room over giving their kids adequate space. Love your sister's nursing home comment. Show them this column. Maybe they will shape up. Not the asshole. Your old school parents shouldn't be surprised when both of you move out as soon as you are old enough. I came here to say that your sister's comeback is funny AF, smiley face. Mom of twins and you're definitely not the asshole my twin shared a room until age 16 because that was all the space we had until we moved. I cannot imagine doing that to them if there was an empty bedroom right there so small minded of your parents. And your sister is hilarious. My room was the guest room when I was a teenager. I simply temporarily moved out when we had guests stay over. Not a big deal. Your parents are ridiculous. Not the asshole, your teenagers now, both sharing a room is untenable especially when there's an obvious solution. Understandably your dad needs an office for work that's fair enough, but you have four bedrooms, that makes three and a study, a spare bedroom is a luxury that is far less important than both children having bedrooms. I'd suggest your parents buy either an air mattress or a fold-out couch bed for guests. That way guests are still reasonably accommodated, but the needs of all the people living in the house are actually met as well. Not the asshole, your parents are. No reason one of you cannot use the guest room, and just move out when guests are there. Mom's crafts can be stored in the office and you two can share a room when there are guests. Not the asshole. Duh. Your parents need to allocate the space properly. Potential guests should never take priority over those actually living in the home. I definitely get the office space aspect and I could see it being reasonable to have you bunk together when guests do stay just so the office is still available if the guest stay happens to coincide with working from home. Not the asshole. Your parents probably go out together and leave you at home, when this happens one of you move to the guest room. Move all your stuff, put your posters on the wall. In this situation ask for forgiveness and not permission is warranted. Your parents are wrong. Googling nursing home with bunk beds that has me rolling. Not the asshole. The googling nursing homes with bunk beds comment was great. It seems very reasonable that one of you take the guest room and then on the few occasions you do have guests. You can share a room just for a visit. Not the asshole. My family has a four bedroom home with four kids. Our youngest two share a room, older two each have their own room, and my husband's computer stuff is in our closet. My older daughter's second kid has the second biggest kid room, little two obviously have the biggest, with the comfier mattress topper, in exchange for vacating for the couple days at a time, maybe twice a year for guests. Actual residents of the home come first. 
I cannot imagine squishing my kids together into a room when we had another option. Not the asshole. They've got a four-bedroom house FFS. There are families out there all cramped into one or two rooms because they have no other choice. I've converted a reception room into my bedroom so that my two have got a decent bedroom each, but that's what you do when you have children, you put them first. I really value my privacy and quiet time though, I think some people don't understand what personal spaces means. Not the asshole. My best friends growing up were twin sisters who had to share a room and hated it as they got older. So many people forget twins are two different people not just two clones. As others have suggested you should each have a room and agree to share when a guest comes over. Put a Murphy bed in the office, problem solved. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Why don't your parents switch with you? You two get the giant master bedroom, and they can sleep in a small bedroom. Your dad can have the office be his flow over room, and your mom can use the guest room as hers. Perfect solution. Not the asshole, it's completely fine to want your own space and privacy. It's not that your sister barely tolerates you, it's just because it's hard to be around someone so much, and she may feel as though you're invading her space same with you OFC. I think you should try to convince your parents to let her or you stay in the guest room. Not the asshole. You have enough room in the house to get one bedroom each. A lot of families work like this, with the occasional guest using one of the bedrooms and the occupants of the bedrooms bunking together. Your parents choose to have children, they must take care of both of you. Not the asshole. Your parents are being selfish as fuck with the guest room. Not the asshole. If the guest room is empty for almost every day of the year, why not put one of you there? It's ridiculous to keep a whole room empty only to be used 10 days a year. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind bunking together for 10 days out of the year to lend the room for guests. I get it's their house but you're teenagers, there's nothing wrong with wanting space and privacy. Maybe suggest that to your parents, that when guests come over you can share a room.